Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will try to understand why did Facebook go down. As we know, on 4th of October, Facebook was unavailable for around 6 hours. So what was actually happened? Why was Facebook down? Why we were not able to access Facebook and its affiliated services like WhatsApp and Instagram? Just after this incident, I created a poll on my LinkedIn to understand how many of us are aware about its cause. So here is the result. For DDoS, we got 6%. For server down, we got 31%. For routers configuration change, we got around 14% and then we got 14% for others. Soon after this incident, we received a Facebook's update about the outage. They mentioned in one of their blog posts that the configuration changes on the backbone routers that coordinates traffic between their data centers have caused this issue and then there is this interruption in this communication. So let's try to understand what actually happened. So there is this blog post which is published just after this incident where they have wonderfully explained how Facebook disappeared from the internet. I will link this blog post in the description. I would recommend you to go through this blog once. This is going to be an interesting read. I have also referred this blog only to understand what has actually happened. So let's talk about it more. So to understand that, we have to first understand how internet works. As we know, internet is a network of networks, right? And each of this network is essentially a large pool of routers. So the question is, how does this network of networks communicates between each other. So to understand that, we have to understand BGP, Border Gateway Protocol. It is basically a routing protocol for the internet. So what does it do? Whenever someone submits a data packet across the internet, BGP checks for all possible paths and picks up the base route, which is basically hopping between networks that is also known as autonomous system. So what is autonomous system in particular? As I mentioned, the internet is the network of networks. There are hundreds of thousands of smaller networks known as autonomous system, which is essentially a large pool of routers run by a single organization. And these autonomous systems typically belong to ISPs or other large high-tech organizations. For example, Facebook network. It is also an autonomous system, right? And all these individual autonomous systems are bound together by BGP. And here, BGP allows one network, let's say Facebook, to advertise its presence to other networks and that eventually forms an internet. During this incident, Facebook was not able to advertise its presence to other networks and that is the reason it was unavailable during that time. So here we have understood that autonomous system is basically a large pool of routers which is having some routing information. So let's say if we look at this diagram which is being shared on the Cloudflare blog post, here let's assume that we have this autonomous system 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's say if we want to send a data from AS1 to AS3, we have two different paths, okay? One, we have to go through AS2 and then AS3 and the other one is we have to go through AS6, AS5, AS4 and then AS3. So here we can clearly say that BGP will take the first route, the one in the green for sending any type of data because this is the best possible route, right? So this is a high level overview where we have understood autonomous system which is nothing but a network or a pool of routing tables which basically holds the routing information using which different data can be sent across different autonomous system using the BGP protocol, right? Now let's try to understand how BGP can break the internet. Let's say if one of the autonomous system publishes bad route to its neighbor autonomous system. So what will happen? This bad route will get spread to other system as well, right? And due to this bad routing information across system, what will happen? Our data will not be able to reach its desired destination. So now for example, let's say this AS1, autonomous system 1 is your Facebook network, right? And assume that it has published some routing information to its neighbor systems, okay? And those routing information were faulty. So what will happen? Let's say if some other AS4 system tries to reach Facebook. So it will try to read the latest routing information which is being published by Facebook network, right? Now, as I mentioned that let's assume if those information, routing information is incorrect, then none of the system should be able to reach the Facebook networks, right? Or should be able to access Facebook services. So that is what has actually happened on that day. Facebook engineers actually done some configuration changes on the backbone routers which was responsible for coordinating the network traffic between the data centers. 
विच लेटर ऑन दे रियलाइज इट्स फॉल्टी एंड ड्यू टू विच दिस कम्युनिकेशन इंटरप्शन हैपेंड वी कैन ऑल्सो हैव अ लुक एट द ग्राफ विच क्लाउडफेयर हैव शेयर वेर इट शोज दैट फेसबुक इंजीनियर्स हैज डन सम कन्फिग्रेशन चेंजेस जस्ट बिफोर द इंसिडेंट सो हेयर इज द ग्राफ वेयर यू कैन सी डिफरेंट स्पाइक्स and this spikes are about withdrawal of the routes and similarly we have a few spikes which is about the announcement of the new routes and just after this configuration change facebook disappeared from the internet because these changes were faulty so after this configuration change the facebook network or the autonomous system was disappeared from the internet due to which dns gets affected and dns resolver all over the world start failing to resolve their domain names for those who don't know what is dns dns stands for domain name system which is basically the phone book of the internet it basically holds a, a mapping of domain name and its respective ips so whenever you type in something like facebook.com it eventually maps to a ip which will take you to the respective servers so whenever someone types facebook.com in its browser it tries to resolve this domain name to an ip address but due to this incident all the dns resolvers in the world were failing to resolve this domain name to an ip and due to which we were not able to access any of the facebook and its affiliated services so here i can show you some of the snapshot uh, shared by the cloudfair where they were trying to reach facebook.com and if you see for all of them we were getting server fail whether it is whatsapp.com or facebook.com it was not able to resolve so that's how facebook becomes unavailable due to this configuration change due to this configuration change there is a cascading effect to different system which eventually makes the rollback of configuration difficult for the facebook engineers due to which it took around 6 hours for them to fix it we can also see uh, this graph on cloudfair uh, where they have shown the updates of routes which is being done by the facebook around 21 utc so here you can see there are some announcement of new routes and there is some withdrawal of the previously announced routes and after this update facebook bring itself back to the internet again so that's how facebook went down on 4th of october 2021 and came back after around 6 hours that's all about this video if you find this video helpful or interesting please like this video and share this video with your friends for better reach that's all about this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you get notified for our upcoming new videos thank you for watching